At 30 this morning, Charles Milne and his wife heard a whistle from their bedroom. You could hear a slight roaring. And a loud clank. The wife was praying, and I was praying too, but uh, she was praying, holding on to her dog, and uh, I, I, I was just waiting to see what was going to happen. He's in good spirits now, but last night he and his wife were shaking with fear over a possible tornado. I hope it's never bad like this again. The loud clink they heard was actually their neighbor's awning wrapping around their tree and a piece of plywood hitting Milne's truck. The daughter next door has a uh, tree down on the boat shed and then broke the roof on it. So there's quite a bit of damage in the Indian Mound. They threw pieces of the awning into a pile on the road. Right now, this is the only thing they can fix, and it's the same for several people in Indian Mound today. Nicholas Hale's girlfriend's parents had a tree limbs fall into their lawn. It wasn't as bad as some of the damage here, and Hale says he's grateful. I've lived in Central my whole life, so it's not the first one that's come by and damaged stuff. I just push through it. Some trees went down, some people lost their cars, but when the rain stopped pouring, people like Milne. We're thankful. But nobody's, I haven't heard anybody getting hurt. So that's, that's the big thing. And that was our Kara St. Cyr reporting. Milne says he and his family are going to wait out the storms until they start further cleanup in their area.